Well, <clears throat> hi there, Libra. Excuse me for clearing my throat. Uh, we want to take a look at um, March and April for your sign. This is a general reading. Um, it's really all about you, this reading. It's called the Circle of Life. It asks a series of questions about you, about your relationships maybe, about the situations that are a priority in your life at this time. Now this might resonate with some of you, it might not. If you're looking at your sun sign, also check out your moon, your rising, maybe even your Venus sign may have an influence over what you're going through at this time. Another thing, if you want a reading meant just for you, my Weebly website has all that contact information. Reach out to me, tell me what you want, and I'll get back to you. I've also got a growing library over at Vimeo. Covers a lot of it, covers love, but there are a lot of energy readings there too. Just scan on down and pick something out. There's bound to be something there for you to watch. Now, Let's take a look at Libra. Oh, and if I didn't say so, my name is Nancy, if you're new to the channel. The channel is Silky Intuitive. We try, anyway. Um, okay, I'm going to cut this deck in two. And even though I've been shuffling for a while on Libra and energy, let's see what we're being told to do here. Okay. I'm gonna cut the deck in half. One half is for the first card, one half is for the second. Let's just go with the natural flow of things. The focus point, the King of Swords. Well, that is you, Libra, isn't it? kind of taking charge of the situation. And the Five of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. Well, there may be something going on in, in your life, in your situation, maybe professionally, where you're feeling a little bit left out. Maybe you're going through financial changes. It feels like you may be very much focusing on the needy if you are a charitable type person. This may be you focusing on the less fortunate, maybe gaining clarity in that area of your life. Okay, here we go. I think we're ready. <clears throat> First, a little sip of tea. Thank you. Alrighty. Our first position asks, who are you now? What have you progressed into? Where do you stand now? It's going to talk about you as a priority in your own life, though. Okay, well, interesting. Interesting that you've got this Ten of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Well, the Seven of Pentacles basically talks about achievement, what you are actually achievement, through your hard work. I think, I almost feel like Libra, you're coming back around to an old idea that may have actually done better than you anticipated. And right now you're looking to start that cycle again. This doesn't feel so much to me like it's a 
strong ending or a bad ending. It feels to me like there was something going on in your life, possibly a project or a job that you worked hard at and there was a fairly good amount of success with it, but it stopped. Some of you may be watching that cycle starting up again. So some of you may be joining up again with something that you did in the past. It was profitable, but now you're looking into the future, repeating that cycle again. And I think it's going to be even more profitable for you than it was in the past. Because this guy has clarity on what it is that he's doing. And he sees that he can live a much better life if he follows through with this plan from the past and resurge again to make it profitable yet one more time. Now, let's see. This asks, what were your qualities back then? What was your life like maybe? What was your focus? Well, no kidding. The King of Pentacles and the Hierophant. Contracts, maybe promotions, maybe strong financial support. And to me, it feels like this is just confirmation of a resurgence of something, maybe contractually, yes. There was a commitment of some kind with this action. Profitable in the past, profitable in the future. So you're actually, you are repeating financial prospects of the past and looking contractually at how you're going to benefit from those things. And I think those things are actually looking a lot better than you thought they were going to look. Next position. What are your expectations, Libra, during this time? Well, now, I know somebody who is going through something like this. And let me tell you, the endings that you're expecting through what you're doing is absolutely spot on. These are good, positive endings. That talks about something seriously seriously coming to an end and manifesting this thing, this explosive kind of thing. I think you're expecting magic to come from that ending. And you may be onto something because I thought so too. Your expectations are right on. You're manifesting just the endings that you were wanting out of this thing. The progress that you're looking to make are explosive endings and sudden and clear beginnings. No screwing around, no messing with it, just clear to the point, endings and beginnings. All through what it is that you're looking to create next position. What is it that you're needing right now, Libra? Well, we've got a disappointing situation here for Libra. Something that they really had high hopes on has left them a little bit empty, emotionally worn out. And what you're needing right now is the support the support of others. But this is slow and steady building support. This is the kind of support that does not happen overnight, even though some of it may happen quickly and in an explosive way. What you're needing is a slow and steady form of support. One that is more hopeful 
than the place that you've seen recently. There's a feeling of some lack or disappointment for you, Libra, around this resurgence of what it is up here that you're wanting to bring back. There was some disappointment through that action, but we've got a revival, a revival of support. Now we actually do want to talk about your support. We want to talk about your support system. Well, your support system. Oh, I get this totally. There's someone around you. Or maybe even a group of people around you who have been just as disappointed and saddened by, by events that have taken place place recently recently but they're supportive and that's the whole point they're supportive on a financial basis and they're supportive on a human level and so it feels very much like you share a disappointment with a large group of people maybe on a universal level i almost feel this is like connected to our recent, say, American elections, where the Americans elected an orange clown, and now we're in the process of battling that clown down. We're trying to rid ourselves of what it is that is causing us harm now. Experiments over is what this is saying, because our support system is saying we can help you. We can help you get rid of this negative element, whatever it is in your life. If you open yourself up to what it is that we're offering as support. And I think I feel on a very almost large level, Libra, some of you are coming together with others to really wake up wake up even universally on a large number of people you're looking to wake people up strange message i'm getting all right next position what is an inspiration to you in your life well what's inspiring you as the thing that has been a burden on you is about to be put to rest. There's a feeling that good things are going to come to pass once you lay down whatever it is that is a burden. This is a ton of wands. You're looking to rid your life of something that's been heavy that weighs you down, that makes you doubt, that hurts your feelings. On whatever level that negative burden has been on your life, it's about to be put to rest. And joy can be okay. Joy is going to return. Joy is going to return to maybe not just you, but on a larger scale. I feel that this energy is bigger than just you and the guy next door. And even though those energies aren't here, except well, maybe here, yeah. <clears throat> I've got someone really reaching out from a very deep level to change the world. And that, those endings, those troubles, those issues that weighed heavy on you, joy is going to be returning to your life. The burden will be set free and joy is going to return. Now we look at what might be a problem, a hardship coming your way. Well, I'm not sure exactly what this means. The Six of Cups and the Two of Cups. 
What does this mean? Hardships, connections to the past. Pardon me, maybe family connections, family disappointments, memories from the past, relationships from the past. Something comes through. Maybe it's a truth that needs to be revealed or it's a hardship from the past. This feels like a wound from the past. And maybe the real hardship is fighting through this wound from the past, even the recent past. Because I almost feel like this is on a very large scale a group of people falling in love with an ideal. But it was a bad ideal. It was an experiment gone wrong for whatever or whoever this is. This is possibly just one person. But there's a past connection here. Uh, an event, even like I said, from the recent past, where it feels very much like there was an attraction. And as soon as the attraction was made, there was a gigantic explosion. The hardship may be getting past those people who fell in, light, it fell in love overnight with the ugly orange creature whatever the orange creature is in your life. It feels like there was this ignition or this inflammation set around people and they fell for this monster, hook, line, and sinker. Well, it, whether it's the guy next door, your neighbor, whether it's a project, an ideal, this is a very strange message, guys. I'm not sure who this is going to resonate with, but I'll take a look at your love situation anyway over at my Vimeo channel. But this this message has gone totally woohoo screwy. Okay, let's take a look at your outcome. I get it. I totally get it. We have the star and we have the strength card. Well, for whoever this is that's starting this revolution, which is what I'm going to call this, this is you. Whatever level this is at for you, whoever you are, whatever your status is in life, this is you causing a revolution. The strength, the inner strength that you'll get from this, plus some of you are going to get public notoriety for what it is. It could raise someone to star status. This revolution that you're undertaking. It's really about getting rid of the things that frighten us. Getting rid of the monsters that are now controlling life. Getting rid of maybe even government on whatever level that is for you. Feels on a very global level we're dealing with um a very strange controlling energy, but it's bringing about all of this weird, these weird patterns of lying and falsehood. And there's this, this real, this real need to release. Release the situation from the past that maybe robbed you of your security, robbed you of love, robbed you of whatever it is. Because your outcome builds your inner strength and maybe even creates some sort of a status for you, especially if it's on a professional level. Okay, there you go, guys. Ah, uh, whew. I'm going to call it on this one. Very 
kind of twisted message. But I think basically what it talks about is overcoming the evil, overcoming the bad, to conquer what it is that's frightening you. And regaining strength and maybe even having some level of a success from it for whoever that is. So, okay, before I even forget my name, uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. Look for information down below. Libra, take care and peace.